my name is Sydney Tate and I am from North Carolina, but I'm based in Brooklyn, New York. When I was a youngin, around like 12 or 13, I had this like GE camera and I remember setting up a tripod in like my side yard and putting on tutus and just dancing around, taking pictures of myself just for fun. And over time I was still doing that in my bedroom, like self portraits, just expressing emotions at that point. And eventually I started asking my friends at school to like model for me and I kept going from there, but that's how I got started and a lot of it was emotion based. I didn't actually start music photography fully until this year. I had always wanted to do this sort of thing and I think for a lot of reasons I just didn't fully believe in myself. It's been a really big journey for me to sort of just take those chances and moving to New York was one of those things. In November I was dating someone who was in a band and I kind of like hinted at wanting to do it and they were like okay yeah we're into it so I did one of their shows and after that I didn't continue until this April. It was a TVOD show at Our Wicked Lady and I messaged Our Wicked Lady on Instagram asking about their photo policy and I think it was Sarah who's also in Wife Knife who runs their socials and was like I can get you on the list and I was like oh now I have to go so I just go and I'm nervous and I was alone and I felt awkward but I took photos that night and it was it was an insane show. It was beautiful. All the bands were amazing. Then I was editing the photos and I kind of just realized like, oh my God, I'm actually good at this. Like I could really do it. So after that, I just started doing like two or three shows a week in all of April. And whether the band asked me to be there or not, I was just taking the photos and sending them to them. And that's how I was getting my name out there. So they were just posting them and everybody was excited and just again like that cycle of affirmation um, got me really excited. So that is sort of what catapulted me into where I am now where I'm not only emailing and reaching out but now I have bands actually asking me to do photos for them. So it's been wonderful and it's happening so fast and I want it to just go up from here. Again, just taking those chances and putting yourself out there has been really important to me in terms of being able to sort of find my way into the music scene in New York. Although I do want to say I have been focusing a lot on like smaller-ish artists. I would say Geese were kind of the bigger ones, of course. But I think it's been, I don't want to say easy, because I do have already quite a big amount of followers on Instagram that like I would consider, you know, enough to where if I'm reaching out to a venue, they might be more likely to respond. Bands, they're nice people. Like they're just people who love art and they always want photos. So I think it's more likely if I am reaching out, just putting myself out there. Of course, some people say no, but I just took a whole two days in April and I was just looking at all the shows coming up and I was looking at all the bands that I want to photograph in the future and just sending them emails and just being like, hey, you know, I'm new to this. I want to grow. I love your music. Can I be there? I will say it has been not as hard as I thought it would be to get in touch with these people. Social media has always been a big part of my artistry. I've had this same Instagram since I was 12 and it's been an interesting time. I sort of built a pretty big amount of people who I was either communicating with, um, just making friends online when I was young, but I was also a Tumblr girl, so I had this whole little community. I think it is a great means of connection because obviously more people are going to see your work. I go to a show, I send them the photos, they're excited about it. If they post one picture on their story or like in their feed, that's so many more people who are gonna see it. And of course, that's how we connected. I sort of have used social media as digital portfolio. I really like to treat it as something where it would get people excited if they take a peek at my page, you know? But I really have been trying to lean into it more just as a means of like, here is my favorite work. Here is everything I've been doing over the past couple years. And with music, again, like 
just a couple people sharing an image goes a long way and that's honestly how I've gotten quite a few of my bookings. When I'm doing creative shoots, it's sometimes for a client, but a lot of times it's either just with a friend or a model and either I come up with a concept on my own and I bring it to them or we kind of collaborate on that and it's usually for me is about all the colors, um, a really cool outfit, and it's just the collaboration of that is a huge aspect in my creative shoots. I'd say the main difference between those and I guess music photography is just the excitement of it all because I'm not telling them to pose. They're just on stage, like giving the performance of their lifetime. I really love all the action, the excitement, and those are my favorite types of shows to photograph is where everybody's shredding so hard or like the the most intense headbanging. Like those are the shots that I live for with music photography. So it's much more like on the spur of the moment type thing. I think just the excitement and the energy is a lot of the difference between the two. Though I am excited to do more creative shoots with bands as well. Since I realized that doing a couple shows a week can take me so far already. I want to keep doing that. I want to make sure I'm taking care of myself, of course, and resting and everything and just finding a pace that really works. So I would like to continue going to shows of all the local bands that I love because that's at the heart of it. it it's just other creatives who are trying to make it out here and I want to boost each other up. I want to make amazing things at these shows and I want to do creative shoots with bands. Just really trying to build my bookings and spread my name here in New York because it truly has felt like a home and really just finding my place in it and contributing as much as I can for fellow artists.